Hello, we're in Malta doing more stock, and today I'm going to show you a overmantel mirror. This uh, mirror is either an overmantel mirror or it is the back of a sideboard buffet or chiffonier sideboard. My feeling is it is probably a overmantel mirror. The back of this mirror has pine panels, pine planks, thinly sawn, very neatly shaped. So that the back is the original back. Just what you want to see. The mirror plate itself is perished, semi-perished mirror. The glass is one piece of glass. These decorative features are laid on, on, across the top of the glass. It's not a question of a triangle, a triangle and a, a shaped cut piece of glass. It's one piece of glass with this, this glazed effect applied to the top. It's not even glued to it, it's loose. So you have a piece of glass, you have the panels of wood on the back with the sheets of wood. You can see a line there. There's a gap in one of the planks and it's, it's perished to a greater degree. You've had some water damage. It's speckled. It's blotchy. It is not even, but it is not, dis, uh, it is not unpleasantly uneven. It had a, an effect on an old mirror. Anyone can get a new mirror. We sell new mirrors. They sell them from China. They sell them Re-mirrored re re picture frames all over. You know, there's lots of there's lots of new mirror. There's not a lot of old mirror. You can sim simulate it by um, basically paint stripping the the silvering on the back, but it's laborious and it's touch and go as as to what effect you get. But this is an example of a distressed, worn, original, old glass. I would date this 1860, 1870. My feeling is it's Maltese. The reason I think it's Maltese is the carving is provincial. It's not exactly as it would be in England. It's slightly different. It's, it's slightly crispy. It's not that basic. It's just not the, the exact form it would be in England. It could be English as a push, but I think it's probably Maltese because it's here. The glass, of course, would have been imported. That's a different matter. So it's a formulaic over mantel, would have gone on a mantelpiece, a chimney piece, over fireplace. As I said, it could have come off a sideboard, a buffet, you can imagine it on a mahogany buffet. It's got nothing to do with this table that I'm displaying it on. It's quite a large item. It's very big, extremely inexpensive. This is so cheap. So the price of brown furniture and associated brown forms of antiques, the price has been falling for 20 years. And this is for sale. At a, at a rock, I would say a rock bottom price. You, you have all the, the carvings that came with it originally. There's no obvious bits broken off. The quality of that is lovely. The mahogany has got a lovely figuring. You have this garland or foliate designs growing around it. It's a really nice thing and it's a very useful thing. You can go, as I said, on a fireplace. You can go, you can go on a, a wall in the kitchen. You can go on a sideboard to make it some look like a proper pier glass. Excuse the noise outside, there's, uh, there's an election on in Malta and they're celebrating. Um, so I hope I've got across the feel. You, you could call it high Victorian. Um, I, I, I often think in my own mind of oh, this is a world where saloons you see in the films uh, where you have the sort of fairground style writing in the swing doors. It's a high Victorian exuberant uh, type of decoration. And um, whether in a house they would use purples and pinks and, and, and just the colour blues and, and yellows and vivid colours. It's, 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 it's wildly exuberant, it's wildly exotic, very decorative, not fashionable particularly at the moment, but it, it doesn't take away from the fact it's a really, really lovely thing. I like it very, very much. There used to be an awful lot of these around. There's not so many anymore. A lot of people wouldn't want this deteriorated mirror in their house. I would love to have this in my house. It's just got the, it's got a lovely feel. It's got a lovely patina. So it's a semi-useful item. I can see myself, but I, I can't see it very clearly. Perhaps it's an improvement. Um, it's for sale in Malta for collection for Malta. Thank you very much.